In this presentation, we will examine the following question. If H and K are subgroups of a group G, when is their product as group subsets HK a subgroup of G? So before we answer the question, a bit of background. We assume that G is a group and H and K are subgroups of G. We define HK to be the following subset of G. All of the elements HK, where H is an element of H and K is an element of K. So this is multiplication in G. We define KH in a similar manner. We would like to show the following that if G is a group and H and K are subgroups of G, then this product HK is a subgroup of G if and only if HK equals KH. This is saying that this product commutes. We recall the definition of a subgroup. So if G is a group and H is a subset of G, we say that H is a subgroup of G if H is not empty and for all elements H and H prime, in the subset H, we have that their product is in H and the H inverse is in H. So let's prove this implication. We assume that HK is a subgroup of G. We would like to show that HK equals KH, given this. We have the definition of a subgroup again at the top because we're going to need this. And this is the result that we would like to show but we're going to be showing this implication first. So the first half of this proof, suppose that HK is a subgroup of G. Now note that the identity element of G is contained in both H and K because they are subgroups of G. Let X be an arbitrary element of KH. We would like to show that KH is contained in HK. We have that x equals kh for some element h of the subgroup h and k in the subgroup k. Now, x equals kh. This equals 1kh1, where here we have attached an identity element to the front and the end of this expression. We can now group these terms as follows. We have that this equals 1k multiplied by h1. Now note that here, if we treat the identity element 1 of G as being an element of H, and here we treat it as being an element of K, then we have that this expression is in HK, as is this expression. And because we're assuming that HK is a subgroup of G, this property here tells us that this has to be an element of HK. So what we've shown, because X was an arbitrary element of KH, We've shown that KH is contained in HK. Now we need to show the converse that HK is contained in KH. To do this, let X be an arbitrary element of HK. Now we note that because HK is a subgroup, property 2 holds, so X inverse is also in HK. This says that X inverse equals HK for some H in the subgroup H and K in the subgroup K. Now we have that X equals X inverse inverse. We have that X inverse equals HK, so we just substitute HK into this expression. And now HK inverse equals K inverse H inverse, which is contained in KH. So this just says that X is now contained in KH. And as X was an arbitrary element of HK, we've now shown that HK is contained in KH. And these two together tell us that HK equals KH. So we've shown the first implication of this result. Now we show the converse, i.e. that if H and K are subgroups of G and HK equals KH, then this implies that HK is a subgroup of G. So we suppose that HK equals KH. We first note that HK is non-empty as both H and K are non-empty by assumption because they are subgroups. So because H and K are non-empty, they contain at least one element. And if we take the product of one of the elements of H with one of the elements of K, we get an element of HK. So HK is certainly non-empty. So now 
let x and y be arbitrary elements of hk. That means that x equals hk and y equals h prime k prime for some h and h prime in the subgroup h and k k prime in the subgroup k. Now we have that k h prime equals h double prime k double prime for some element h double prime in the subgroup h and k double prime in the subgroup k. This is because we're assuming that h k equals k h. We now have that the, the product x y equals h k multiplied by h prime k prime. This is just by definition here. Now if we group this expression slightly differently, if we group it as follows, we have that it equals h multiplied by k h prime k prime. Now we use this equality to transform this expression into the following h h double prime multiplied by k double prime k. But notice that in this expression, because h is a subgroup of g, it satisfies this condition. So that says that this element h h double prime is in the subgroup h. And likewise, this expression k double prime k is in the subgroup k. So, in other words, xy is contained in hk. And we've shown that hk satisfies this first condition to be a subgroup. Now, all that remains to show is that x inverse is contained in hk. So, x inverse equals hk inverse. This equals k inverse h inverse, which equals, sorry, which is in kh, and by assumption kh equals hk. So that just says that x inverse is in hk. And we've shown that hk is a subgroup of g, and that has concluded the proof of this result.